what makes a motor spin? When a DC motor is connected to power, the shaft in the middle spins. But why? Inside the motor, the shaft is surrounded by a number of wire coils. Around the outer edge of the coils is a magnet, or series of magnets. Let's talk about magnets for a moment. If we hold two magnets end to end, the two ends will either jump together, attracting each other, or push apart, repelling each other. Magnets have north and south poles, just like the Earth. The Earth is like a giant magnet, with magnetic field lines stretching between the north and south poles. When two magnets interact, like poles will repel, a north will push another north away, and a south will push another south away. But unlike poles, one south and one north will attract each other. Inside the motor, an electric current is run through the coils, turning them into temporary magnets. When current is run through the wire coil in one direction, the north pole will be on the outside. But if current is run through the wire coil in the opposite direction, the poles will flip, and the south pole will now be on the outside. If the coil has a north pole on the outside, it will be repelled away from the north pole of the ring magnet and drawn to the south pole of the ring magnet. The motor will spin, but only a little bit because it stops when the north pole of the coil meets the south pole of the ring magnet. It doesn't want to go past the north pole of the ring magnet. We need the poles of the coils to change. If the coil suddenly switches from north to south, the new pole of the coil will be drawn to the next pole of the magnet, and the motor will continue spinning. So how can that happen? Inside the motor, the wires that make up the coils are not directly connected to the wires where electricity comes into the motor. Instead, the coil wires connect to a part of the motor called a commutator. It's made of little metal plates that have gaps between them. Those plates are actually how the coils get connected to electricity. The motors I've been showing you are brushed motors. The wires on the outside of the motor connect to little conductive pads on the inside of the motor called brushes. Here is a simple brushed motor I will use as a demo. It has two coils with magnets at their ends on the sides. The coils are attached to a shaft that runs up the middle. On the shaft is the commutator. This commutator has only two pads. These flat copper pieces are the brushes. The brushes rub against the commutator. Power is connected to the outside of the motor. Those terminals connect to the brushes on the inside of the motor. Power runs through the brushes and into whichever pad it is touching on the commutator. Each pad on the commutator is connected to a wire that connects to one of the coils. With the pad touching one brush, power runs through the coil in one direction, and in the other direction when the pad is touching the other brush. Remember that the current changing direction changes the poles of the magnetic field of the coil. So every time the current changes direction, it's like a magnet flipping. The magnet-like coils attract towards or repel away from the magnets on the outsides. So as the motor spins, the brushes touch the next pad on the commutator, which changes the direction of electric current running through the coils and this changes the magnetic polarity in the coil, so that the coils keep pushing away from and pulling towards the magnets. If power is disconnected, the magnetic field in the coils fades, causing them to no longer interact with the magnets on the sides, and the motor stops spinning. Motors have a metal shaft in the middle that spins. That's what makes motors useful and is used to make other things spin or move. However, that shaft is usually very balanced and spins smoothly. If a weight is added to one side of the shaft, making it unbalanced, 
the spinning would no longer be smooth, making the motor vibrate. This is done on purpose to make vibrating motors. Small ones are placed in cell phones to make them vibrate. We can also use them in fun projects to make them move around, like these bristle bots.